Joomla how-to videos brought to you by Gong Gong Communications. Hyperlinks are a really important part of any website because it enables you to provide resources like links to third-party websites or it helps you uh, have better navigation within your own website. So what you need to do is type your link text or your call to action and once you highlight it go to the little chain link on the toolbar and there's several different ways we can find the page we're looking for within our website. First of all I can start searching and it will return a list of different links within my site that has the term about or I can click X and I can go through content and this will have all of the different articles within my website or the easiest is usually to go to menu and continue to browse until you find the article you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to click on Get Started and click on Insert. Now I want to include a hyperlink to an external website. In this case, the Joomla Extensions directory. So again, I'm going to highlight the text, go up to the link icon, and in the URL box, I'm going to paste my URL. You have to make sure that any URL you are hyperlinking starts with HTTP or HTTPS colon backslash backslash or it won't work properly. Since I've got that, I'm all ready to go. However, I want to change the target. And what this means is where the link actually opens. You've probably been on a website where if you click on the link, it'll open a new tab or a new window. And when you are including links to third-party websites or external websites you really want to make sure it opens in that new window so you click on the down arrow and click on open a new window next to target now on a link within our own website we can just leave it be because it doesn't matter if it opens in a new window or not now that we're done we just click on insert and the link is added I'm going to save my page and now if I visit my article on the website you'll notice that my links are now included and I can click on it and it takes me to the appropriate page on my site or in this case opens up my URL in a new window. If I need to remove or edit a link I just highlight the link and to remove it I click the unlink button which is the broken chain link or to edit it I click on the link button again and it brings up that same screen and it will enable me to change the link. For more information and resources, visit gonggongcommunications.com.